Greetings. In our quest for a awesome looking render of this scene, it's now time to get into the render settings uh, within Maya. So, to get to that, we go back up to the clapperboard, and it's this one here with the two little buttons next to it. Um, and if we mouse over it, it tells us that it's um, it tells us down here um, that it's called the display render settings window. So let's get that bad boy open. Yeah, right. Let's change some settings. First of all, we're rendering at 640 by 480. That's fine, uh, but it's pretty low res. Um, so let's move to one of the um, more high definition presets. So I would recommend rendering at HD 1080, um, but as my laptop is a little bit pants, I'm just going to do 720. Uh, that'll speed up render times. And when you've done that, you'll notice that the shape of the resolution gate changes so that's going to affect um, the aspect ratio of what we're creating okay now what we're going to do is just click on the Maya software tab at the moment it's on a pretty low quality setting the shadows aren't great the lighting's not fantastic so we're going to up that as well so we're going to change this quality to we don't really need to go too high up yet we're going to go to intermediate quality okay and we're just going to leave it like that for the time being to create a new render. So I'm going to click on close for now and then I'm going to frame up something that looks awesome. Oh, that could be that could be the one that looks awesome. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Um, yeah that could look pretty good. Okay so now I'm going to click on this render um, the current scene or into the current frame and it's going to take a little bit longer but it should off a lot sexier so here we go we can see it rendering a little bit at a time it's not going to let me move the window yet come on laptop you can do it use your thinking muscles here we go alright that's done let's drag that in make it full screen so that now Hopefully you can see on this video, but if not, you'll be able to see on your own example. This is looking much, much better. We've um, got a little bit of lens flare going on. We can see the crescents on the edge of the planets. We've got shadows happening underneath the boxes. Um, things are looking pretty nice. Um, there's one thing um, that I want to add to this as well, though. Um, and that is a little bit of ray tracing. Now, ray tracing brings in things like uh, reflections, uh, refractions of light. So we're going to go back into the settings um, in Maya software, Maya software, and where it says ray tracing quality, drop that down, turn it on. We don't need the settings up too high because it's going to add to the render time again. Um, and now because my wall um, is a fong, when I render this, we should start to see some things creating reflections. So I'm just going to hit render again. This should take even longer than the render. But this all should be uh, a fair bit sexier. There we go, it's trying. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Right, so at this stage, you can see that all these surfaces along here are reflective. Now, at the moment, it looks pants because the reflections turned up way too high uh, and they just look like mirrors uh, and in this moody dingy looking sci-fi environment it doesn't fit so I need to change one more thing and then I'm happy with this scene so I'll close that again I need to go back into my hyper shade and I need to find those textures so I'll clear my graph okay and I need to find um, pillar that's one of them so within here I can see um, the settings and under one of the options ah, reflectivity here we go so it's under specular shading so if I turn the reflectivity down to about 0 0.1 and hit enter um, and then I'll do that for the wall texture as well, which I believe is called wall M. There it is. Reflectivity 0.1. Okay, that now 
should hardly be reflecting at all um, but they should just be a little bit in there so again it'll be subtle in a still frame but when we animate later uh, it's going to be much more obvious so uh, let's give that a render and then we're done with this video so here we go we'll have to wait pretty much um, the same amount of time as for the last one get in there okay so now you can see the tiniest hint of a reflective surface and that's all we're going for net for so that's pretty good that is some success we are definitely getting good at this all right um, from here uh, we're going to go on to creating a window, we're going to get a little bit more advanced with the modelling, we're going to move on to extrusion modelling uh, and then we're going to go on to creating uh, transparent textures. So I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next few videos for that.